It is so wonderful and refreshing to be with people of faith and conscience, to be with people who are sane, for people who feel not just our own feelings, but the feelings of those across the world who are being killed with our taxpayer dollars. Uh, as Jack said, I'm a member of the Fellowship of Reconciliation, Director of Operations, but I'm also a member of the Muslim Peace Fellowship, which is one of the many faith-based uh, fellowships uh, that belong to the Fellowship of Reconciliation. And we believe in Islam, in the true teachings of Islam, that there is no compulsion in faith. And until we love each other as one human community and feel for each other, then we will not achieve peace and we will not be achieving what God Almighty intended for us to do as human beings. And God has sent us many, many prophets to teach us the way to live and the way to honor God by honoring our fellow humanity. I'm um, also part of the global, uh, the campaign for a global ban on weaponized drones uh, with Nick Modern. And so if any of your organizations would like to endorse the campaign and you have not already, please see Nick or I. We are looking, we are dreaming, uh, as did the International, International uh, Coalition for a Ban on Nuclear Weapons, ICANN. We're looking also to bring a treaty to the UN to stop the use of killer drones. And drones for me are, as a Muslim, are, are particularly uh, a sensitive topic because 98, 99% of victims of drone attacks First and foremost, they tend to be quote unquote collateral damage, innocent civilians, but most, most of them are Muslim. So all over the world, it is people who are of different faith and different colors that are being killed so that, as this lady has on her beautiful sign, be very careful of those who steal trillions to kill millions. So today we are in Scranton, and I, I want to be very careful to hold the situation of the people of Scranton uh, carefully. Apparently, Scranton is a, is a city, it's called the most, the most famous city, small city in America. It is a place uh, that uh, had... Um, coal mines and it used to be known as electric city and electric cable cars um, it had uh, a, a big uh, garment industry it used to be thriving with industry but as those industries are no longer viable what has happened is that the economy has declined and then we have big weapons manufacturers moving in and basically feeding people, putting braces on the teeth of people uh, through a, a very insidious, corrupt, evil industry. And the, the people of Scranton, I'm sure if they knew exactly what they're doing by working in this facility, they would look for another job. If we have the consciousness to really think about how we spend our time how we work and what is the product of that work, in this case, killing millions of people across the world. I personally can't sleep at night, but we know that these people want to feed their children and I encourage the people of Scranton to look at ways of creating a peace economy. Yeah. Yes. And you can go to, for example, Code Pink's website and there's a lot of information on how to convert economies of war into economies of peace so that there can be health care, education, uh, and abundance for all. Yeah. So thank you, thank you all very much and um, let's, keep, let's keep hope alive. And uh, I just want to say that the Fellowship of Reconciliation has a campaign under Ariel Gold, our new executive director, to reclaim the name of God from all forms of religious extremism, Christian nationalism, uh, Islamic extremism, 
Zionism, Hindu nationalism. Our goal is for people to actually live into the true teachings of our prophets as God Almighty would like us to do. Thank you.